Right guys, welcome to a new video and uh, as you can see me and dad are not exactly in carp gear shall we say you know, it's, uh, <clears throat> basically we're on my 40th birthday yes that is correct guys I am 40 years old got ducks behind us um, 40 years old eh? bloody hell it's catching up to me guys um, yeah basically we're on a family holiday um, we've travelled up to Caster Lakes which is up in Lincolnshire, I believe. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got obviously me, Faye, Ted, and Mum and Dad. <clears throat> Behind you is a lake, a very small lake, I must add. And um, like I say we're here for a week. And yeah, for people that have fished here, all know it. It's very tiny, very very tiny. But apparently they're meant to be a 52 pound carp in here. Um, I did ring the girls at reception, <clears throat> or the men, but. You know, a lady answered the phone, asked this lady about the, the fishing, because um, I heard rumours that a 52 pounder weren't in here, etc. Um, basically, the words that I got was, when the new owners took it over, the biggest fish that they've had on record is 38 pound. So, I don't know what's happened to the 52. I don't know. But it could be in there. It, it could be. Might it might not be, but maybe someone will know the truth. I don't know. But from what I've been told, <clears throat> the late record is 38. To be fair, it took us four hours to get here. Um, hence, we're not in carp gear. I mean, the rods are out, we're all fishing. But we've seen some carp, haven't we? Yeah, I've seen quite a few. Uh, we've some seen... big, some small. Yeah, um, the more on, I would say, Dad's side at the moment. He's got rods out there fishing for them. But yeah, obviously, it's, it's an intro. It's letting you guys know where we're at. We're at Case the Lakes. Like I say, I know there's 20s and a few 30s in here, and I'm assuming there's probably some doubles. But we've got two rods out each. And basically, yes, yeah, my birthday bash, 40 years, 40 years old, mate. Yeah. 40 oh. years, do you think you stayed distant? Well, lend us a tenner, Dad. Yeah. So, you know that well, one, boys. The tenors have always lent you, yeah. never got paid back. Yeah, but you're me dad, that's what dads are for, and they chaps, eh? You know that one, lads. How many times your son come up to you and go, give us a tenner, Dad, never gives it back. Boom. All right, but anyway, getting back to the fishing, <clears throat> we've seen a few, but obviously we've been here a few hours, we couldn't get in until three o'clock, what's time now? Just gone six. Six o'clock, <clears throat> all the rods are done. I think Dad's just gonna redo one of his in a minute. But yeah, we'll come more into tactics, etc. and show you the fish and that. I think I might get out of my stuff. Then again, we're sitting on a hot tub behind us. And uh, yeah, we'll come more into the cabin. We'll show you it all. And uh, but yeah, just a little intro. That's where we are, Case the Lakes. And uh, yeah, it's my 40th birthday. So uh, let the fun begin, as they say. Yeah, and a few beers later. Yeah, that's it. Uh, watch a bit of football tonight as well I think so uh, we'll leave it there guys and uh, we'll come back to you soon right guys sorry we haven't been back well we're on the uh, what are we on now Saturday evening aren't we Saturday evening yeah we got yeah. here yesterday Friday Saturday evening and uh, all I'm gonna say is small lake syndrome you'll know exactly what I mean they've been an absolute nightmare haven't they yeah we've got plenty of fish in front of us but they've seen everything so we've got to put our wits about us and try and come up with something that they like. Yeah, I mean, Dad's right. It's one of those so frustrating. I mean, it is hot, don't get me wrong, but where we're fishing, I mean, we've got, Dad's got an island with some lily pads, which is nice. I've got a nice, like, uh, margin where no one else can fish, and the fish have been right in there. I've had them hovering over the baits. I've had everything in there today, and they're just not interested in... It's one, you know, like one of them times it's so frustrating. They're there as well, and you're just thinking, come on. I've been round there again, and literally just dropping in another rig. I must have spooked another two. They are literally sitting over the rigs, and I just can't get them to go down. I don't know why. I've lengthened the rigs, I've even shortened them. Obviously, tomorrow I'll try something else, but yeah, at the moment it is small lake syndrome. They, they know they're being, they want to be there. But they know they're being fished for as well, you know, but they're staying there, so. We tried floater fishing. So yeah. yeah. Very frustrating. They'd come up and take one and that's it. And it weren't like the frenzy, the feeding frenzy that you would want. Yeah. With floater fishing, but uh, the nearest I got to it, one, he sort of mouthed it, but I struck mm. him, I think. Exactly. It has, it's, it's just been one of those, I would say, first day situations, isn't it? I mean, last night, totally dead. Um, got up at half five this morning and uh, see a couple crash. You know, and you think, yeah, here we go, it's bite time and that, but pff, 
I think it's one of those, like, I mean, when I mean this lake is tiny, when I turn the camera around eventually to you guys, you'll see what I mean. It's like a garden pond, I'm going to be honest with you, about a big one, if that makes sense. But the, uh, yeah, it's tiny. I mean, you look over the veranda and sometimes you can see them, like, you yeah, know. Yeah. And uh, they're used to people, but they've been yanked about, I think, in here. They're, they're, they're not stupid. They are not stupid, in here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got to get our wits about us. Tomorrow I'm going to... Uh, I mean, I've been using the size 4 DX curve. I'm going to scale down tomorrow to a fluorocarbon or clemph. I've got a coated braid on at the moment, but I'm going to go down to a size 6 and just start ringing the changes, you know. Like I say, I think the fish, well, the fish are definitely there, and it? We can see them. loads of fish. You know, loads they're, they're fish. definitely there. So we're going to go out tomorrow and uh, obviously have something to eat, etc., and then get our heads together. But yeah, it has been a very, very frustrating trip. For how many fish are in front of us, I thought we'd have had about five or six by now, to be honest. Yeah. But it's that small lake syndrome again. They, they just know, you know, if it was a big lake, you'd be hauling. But yeah, this small lake syndrome stuff, it's, uh, they know they're being fished for. But that's where we're at at the moment. While we're on the camera, um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take you in quickly and show you the cabin. <clears throat> Is there anything else you want to say about the fishing? It, yeah, there? it's now become a challenge. And yeah. That challenge is to catch one fish mm, each. Yeah. If we catch two, great. But that first fish, we've got to get that first fish now. That is the challenge. Yeah, exactly. uh, and when you speak to people and you say, have you caught? And they say, no, I've tried everything. <laughs> I know what they mean. We have tried everything. Yeah. We keep changing and changing. and There's nothing that they seem to want. And, and that's it. So we yeah. just got to keep going until we find the key. And once we've got the key to unlock them, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's it. Well, I think Dad's right with that one as well. So it's <clears throat> like I say, we've had. I think we've had orange on today. We've had pink. We've had yellow. I've even I've even tried maggots. Yeah. You know, we've even tried maggots, and they're just they're just but they're there and they're there in numbers as well. And you're just like you know, it's one of those. But we're coming into the evening period now. And uh, not sad. I'm going to jump in the hot tub in a minute. But the uh, the ash for the fish in front is it's very slow. But yeah, like Dad said, we've just got to try and we've never been here before, and uh, we've just got to try and break that code. So we've seen some good ones. I've seen some small ones as well. Some of them I've seen the doubles as well, and even they're bloody hard to catch. Like mm. you know, they've been they've been caught before. Let's put it that way. It's it's like I keep repeating myself with small leg syndrome. And uh, people that fish small lakes will understand exactly what I mean. It can be so frustrating sometimes. So, uh, but, I'll, but I'll quickly grab the camera now. I'll tell you in now. The girls don't know that I'm going to film them. So let's have a look. Right. Let's go down there. As you can see, that's the lovely veranda there. I'll come more onto the lake in a minute. But yeah, two rods each. So you open up the gates. That's that, come in. Oh, girls. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, look, that's Faye's reaction. Right, anyway, we'll take you in. Have a word. Look at him. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you've been caught, haven't you? Yeah, you. Look, right, anyway. This is one of the bedrooms. Come in here now. Got a TV there. Obviously, looking out to the lake there. Got people opposite. Come round. Got a nice bed there, which Ted is modelling on. Go in. You got a walking wardrobe. Down there, you got a nice big toilet. Nice big toilet, nice big shower. So yeah, I mean it's all here, all the mod cons are here, it's great. Basically you've got two of these bedrooms, one either side. Just come back out. And there is the front room and kitchen. So, so obviously you come through that door there. But yeah, you get the gist of it, that other door over there. That's where the other room is. I'll we'll come out to the lake now. But yeah, as you can see, that's my setup there. And I'm doing two washing lines over to two poles there. I've got one rod washing line just to the back of these pads. 
which the fish are in and then the other rod is just down near these reeds literally tight in as you can see the wind is trickling in which is absolutely great for us the amount of fish that we've seen is unbelievable basically our boundary is to that um, it's a water pump obviously a, uh, sorry an aerator and then that's got down here which is obviously a nice set of lilies there lilies there lilies there but yeah basically so we've got all this end but there are cabins all the way around yeah, oh it's a tiny lake as you can see controllers everywhere but there's six cabins on this lake but four of them you can only fish from uh, and they're basically opposite each other so that gentleman there he can fish as well but yeah i'm fishing down this side here and yeah it's just so frustrating that's where they are they're stacked in there at the moment and uh, i'm throwing everything in the kitchen sink at them but yeah like this pan round that's dad's area there he's got them going ghosting over the spots there surely it's got to happen it has to happen so we'll come back up here now obviously everything is on there but over the back there there's the hot tub which has got my name written all over it so yeah it's all good come back down you've got a nice walkway as well so but yeah that's case the lakes for you and uh like i say great little venue but the carp they're very very tricky they've definitely been fished for so but yeah there's our water so but i think i'll leave it there guys because i'm going to grab Faye and chuck her in the hot tub right and here you go chaps not the biggest carp in the world i know look how bright this fish is i mean uh to be fair, most of them are. I mean, there's a gentleman opposite. He's had a, he's had one as well, and even he said how black they are. I mean, he's only a baby one. It's got to be the smallest one in the lake, I reckon. Nine pound ten at five o'clock in the morning. But we have cracked the code now. I did lose one, unfortunately. Dad lost one just before, literally. Well, waiting all that time, we virtually had a double take. So the, you know, we have cracked the code now. But yeah, little baby one. Look at him, little half linear, jet black though. Absolutely check black, but yeah, silly o'clock in the morning, and um, so we're gonna get that rod back out. Just got dad's out, and uh, it's definitely been cracked. We've had three runs now, I say we'll come into that, but, but yeah, there you go. All our efforts nine pounds ten. I know it's not the biggest in the world, chaps, but she's certainly a looker, so uh, I think we'll get this one back. And uh, there's some ducks out there, and hopefully. Yeah, well, I'd like one of these like over 20 pounds jet black, it'd be nice wouldn't it though? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we're getting back now, but yeah, first one of the uh, of the 40th birthday bash, shall we say. Here we go, Ben's got one, we tried out to catch these fish, this is the second one. So, got to be nice, carp scare a short time. <laughs> And there we are, we got it. There we go guys, eh? As you can see, got the lovely blue Hugo Boss shorts on. No shirt, we've literally come back, we went out today, and uh, literally just plopped them out. Like Dad said yesterday, once you unlock that code, found the key, here's the second one. Again, only a baby one, 11 and a half pound, but it's black as you're at, isn't it? Look at it. So, uh, yeah, he's a start, like I say, we've had two, and I've lost one now. Unfortunately, Dad's lost one, but I think he'll get some more now, so... Yeah, they're proper jet black, aren't they, eh? So, uh, hopefully we'll get one 20, round, uh, 20 pound bigger, hopefully. So, yeah, let's get him straight back. Here we go again. Spot boy's got another one. 
and these do pants. Look, see these new pants? Got to pull them up a bit. Goes off the fishing. There we go. said once you unlock that code left hand rod this time and uh, yeah it is working we'll go through the bait and the rigs on that in a minute but yeah as you can see it's his beautiful sunshine and yeah I think what was he down 11 and a half again wasn't he yep so we're catching really big fish here guys as you can see they're meant to be big ones in here I'm gonna plow through them I'm sure dad will but yeah they are jet black the beautiful carp so, uh, and tricky little fuckers as well, if you don't mind me saying, but yeah, let's get him back. I'm determined to get a big one. You've come in here and go that way. Hey, that was a proper bite. Oh, yeah. You alright? Yeah. that lot. Yeah, lift the rod up there. Alright, let's go then, go. Gonna come up here. Yeah, the fucking I'm sure I didn't want to come up here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Coming back. As you can see, Dad's got one on now. Uh, hopefully, it's a better one. So, let's get the net, let's get the net. Forty pound in it. <laughs> there we go. Thirteen and a half, biggest so far. Hopefully we'll go up bigger. Lovely common dark colour again. Really dark fish in here. Screamed off. 
and we was in. It's getting back, eh? Yep. Well, I've just seen a fish down here, guys. It's probably one of the better ones in case the lot say we'll come in. I'll do more of an interview later. Let me poke your head down there. Right in the edge. There he is. Hello, mate. He's going, he's got to be 20 odd. That one, he's an easy 20 here. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the better fishing case that is. Certainly. Well, I mean, I'll, we've had him up to 13 pound, but yeah, he's definitely a 20 pound of that fish is. So, there he is, hello mate. But yeah, me and Dad, we, well, we're going out for the day. Typical, and I've just started to see a few, but like I say, we'll, uh, we'll do an interview tonight, and we'll do a little bit on rigs as well tonight. And, uh, but yeah. Look at him just sitting there. Hello mate. But he's a better one, he is. He's, he's a 20 pounder. There ain't loads of them in here. So, uh, here he comes. And then he'll probably end up coming right underneath the jetty. Here he is. See you later mate. Right, anyway, it's time for me to bring the rods in. And, uh, yeah, we're getting out for the day. Right guys, welcome back and uh, as you can see through the footage, we've caught and to be fair, the one thing I will say is they are beautiful carp, what I mean is they are absolutely jet, jet black. Um, as you've seen with the footage, they're proper little carp and to be fair they remind me of like a little, little red mice strain, you know, they're jet black, they're not that strain, but they are very cute aren't they? They are very, very, very cute carp. They, they're only small, but they are so clued up. You work so hard to get a bite. Excuse me. And then when you get it in, nine pound, eleven pound, thirty. I'm gonna go more into case the lakes itself now. With this meant to be a specimen lake. Now you don't pay fourteen hundred pounds to fish for thirteen pounders. That's my stance on it. Not a specimen lake. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah totally. um, and when I say 30 pound, uh, that's the biggest one. <laughs> I've had a nine as well, so two elevens. Um, it's red hot, as you can see. Shirts are off. It's got to be touching 30 degrees today. I'm seeing what swims in this lake. My eyes are not lying to me. Now I have seen. Oh, I've got a bite. I've got a bite. A bite. Yep, he's got one. He's been out today, we've only just come back, come back for about an hour. And uh, he's into one. That was Andy while we was filming. He's got one in. Is it gonna be a PB over 13 8? We'll off. see. He lost it. Yeah. Unfortunately, he lost it. Just got interrupted there and I bloody lost it. Bloody typical, wasn't it? And this is what I'm saying. Well, we'll start with case and I'll go back to that lost fish. Um, yeah, paying £1,400. The cabin is absolutely immaculate, I will say that. So, for a family. The site is nice. Yeah. For a family one, you've got a hot tub, <clears throat> two double bedrooms, big living room, kitchen, and all that, as you've seen. Beautiful. But if you're a specimen angler, come in here you're going to be disappointed. No question about it. Now, I know this full fact now because I've spoke to people that are in the area. I've spoke to people that have been here before. And Case the Lakes had a massive fish kill. Last year. Which doesn't say nothing on their website about. You know, and you can check that out yourself. I've checked it. Doesn't state that at all. Um, to me, that's bad management. You know, you've got to remember there's people traveling to these places to target big carp. Now when you go on their website, it says fish to 52 pound. Straight away me and you are going, oh, hold on a minute. Loads of 30s, loads of 40s. Yeah, there was, before a fish kill, and they've restocked it with these little things. You still have some existing fish in here. I've, I mean, you've got memory it's 30 degrees, they're all cruising. Like you see that 21 pound, 22 pound that I showed you earlier. 
I've seen one 30 cruising, definite 30. I've seen about six, seven twenties. The rest of them are what we're catching. That's not specimen lake fish. So disappointed from that that the website ain't telling the truth. It's just a warning for you guys. And it's a warning for you guys. So, you know, that's why there ain't a lot of videos on Case the Lake. It's all, you know, like when you're thinking, well, why, where, where's all these pictures of these big ones? You, I went on their website, you see the odd one or two. There's not a lot of posts with the fish. And I know why, because they ain't going to put up 10 and 12 pounders and 13 pounders and class it as a specimen lake. But when a 20 or a 30 does eventually come out, go on their website, chaps, you will see it. It's bad management from case to that, very bad. So from the fishing point of view, we've been lied to and I'm disappointed. I'm going to be honest with you, it's my 30th, 40th, 30th, I wish it was 30th, 40th birthday. And we booked this up, me, Faye, mum and dad, we brought Ted with us, thinking that we're fishing for specimen carp and we are not. So it's been a bit of a disappointment from that situation, yeah, isn't it? Lovely place, we've enjoyed it, but mm. the fishing's correct. Yeah. But the other thing is, fishery management, well there isn't any, yeah. they've got a pump out there and as Ben said it's about 30 degrees, no one comes around and tests the water to see whether that pump needs to go on, I think it needs to go on, uh, the fish are on the surface, they're gasping, uh, you can see why they had a fish coming there, pretty yeah. easy, so the, the pump's there but it's not on. Well it's like I said, I think that that pump's here for a feature, for when people turn up, it's not for the carp, that's just an added bonus. Because it comes on on a Friday when it's changeover day, and it comes on on a Monday when it's changeover day. So you imagine you pull in the car park, got all your missus, kids, you've got a lovely water fountain going, oh, don't that look good, babe? That's what it's for. If you, you see where I'm coming from with it, you know. It's a shame that the fish inside of it, like Dad said, it's crap, and, 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 I, and I make him right. The rest of it, stunning, beautiful. I cannot knock the facilities, hot tub, cabin. Puck up. They leave you alone as well, which is great. But well, let's put it this way: when you come into Caster Lakes, they and when you, you go to the reception and the restaurant bit, which is down to my right, they've got a pond outside it. And, and this ain't a joke when I say this; I mean it. There's bigger carp in that pond that's outside their reception than what's in this lake. There's a fish in there about 31, 32 pound, and they're feeding it. There's 20s in them ponds. My advice to case the lakes, get them big ones out of that pond, put them in here, put the little ones that are in here, in there, because the kids, they will feed them pellets, sweet corn, whatever in this pond. It's gene clear, they're beautiful, and have that as your stock pond. Because I'm telling you now, this is no way, no absolute way is this a specimen lake. No chance, no chance whatsoever. Coming back to that fish now, <laughs> we and me and Faye have been out, we went out had a bit of lunch, mum and dad, they, they done their own thing. And I'm being turned over. I'm gonna put my hands up to you. They're very cute. The spots that I'm fishing, it's very weedy lake. Um, they've polished it. They've absolutely polished my spots. Um, didn't get no pickups. I remember really fishing for small fish. The way I'm going on about it, like the 30s and 40s. But they are so cute. So I've scaled down. I was using a size four hook. I've gone down to a six. Well, I've got the bite, but it came off. It's very, very, very weedy here and it is not helping, so now I'm gonna go back to a size four, because, I've, well I've had three, I've lost two now, Dad's had one and you've lost two, isn't it? So, yeah, we've had four and lost and lost four now, because of weed and stuff as well, so. And another tip for you guys, if you are coming as well, be wary of the ducks. Oh, <laughs> the fucking ducks. <laughs> They're an absolute pain in the arse. Ted's already jumped in to go and get them, which I'm grateful for because he spooked him out of swim. I wish he would have got hold of something, if I'm honest with you. Um, but what you got to remember with Arthur's Pole is there's six cabins on it. Four of them you can only fish from, two of them you can't. And you've guessed it. What are people doing in the two that you can't? Chucking over bread to feed the ducks. So as soon as you move your hand like that to bait up, it's like the Spanish Armada had just come <laughs> out of nowhere going for you. So. Yeah, there's a lot of things here that they're not telling you about, and uh, especially on the fishing side. If you're, if you're just coming here for an holiday, it's great. You'll love it. You'll absolutely <coughs> brilliant. If you're coming here to fish, I can tell you now, you are not going to be happy. Especially if you're a specimen hunter. If you if, if you read that website and it's saying 30, 40, and 52 pound carp, like it says, not happening. <laughs> Forget it. 
It's not happening. The only way you're catching that is to fish in their pond outside the reception. Which ain't a bad idea, if you know what I mean, lads. So, um, we might creep down here tonight. Yeah, it's getting to that point, I'm telling you. I'm eyeing that big enough out of their pond. Um, but I think we'll leave it there for now. I'm going to come on to rigs right now. Um, but as you can see, it's absolutely red hot. We've done all right. We've had, you know, we've had eight takes, landed four, lost four now. I think we'll continue to get some more bites, but I just don't know if we're going to get through to a bigger one. That's the problem. It's, mm. like, you see a bigger one, and when I mean a bigger one, it's 22 pounds. You think, oh, well, I hope you do. <laughs> and you think, no, it's 22 pound, like you know. But it's surrounded by 12, and, you know, 12 and nine pounders. It's what gets to your bait first, the fish yeah. or the ducks. You know, but they are very clued up. We've tried boilies, we've tried... They're not... Anything that's, I would say, commercially used, forget it. They're not having it. Boilies, they know, don't they? They know what a round bait we, is, and these are 10 pounds. We tried boilies, we tried uh, corn, sweet corn, plastic corn, nothing. You know, it so. wasn't until we went on to maggots, and mm. even worms. We that, is what we, worms. that is what we're catching on. Maggots and worms. We're the only ones catching. I mean, we've had eight bites, and we're using maggots and worms to get bites. They, they are just not stupid. These fish. You know, like I'm watching them. They're coming over. They're smashing the spot with the maggot. They just leave your rig, and you're like, "Well, how's that working?" And I'm scaling down. I've even I've scaled down hook sizes now. I've got that bite, but lost it in the weeds. So now I've got to go back up. So, but yeah, maggots and worms. If you come into Caster, because you're going to struggle with. I would say boilies, conventional baits, mm. sweet corn. Um, I mean, they have just died the lake now because the weed is horrendous. But yeah, if you're going to use um, boilies and pellets, and I'm not saying you won't catch, but you ain't going to catch as many, I don't think. You, you'll, you'll be struggling. So my advice to you, and I think from Dad, if you're coming to Caster, is to bring about four gallons of maggots, depending on your, your trip, and a load of worms with you because uh, these fish are very, very clued up. Forget commercial base. I mean, we're sponsored up to the to the eyeballs. And they probably won't like me saying this, but you put a boilie on in here, isn't it? We've been waiting forever. I'm going to be waiting a long time. It's quite so. weedy as well, and there's a lot of silkweed on the bottom. They have put dye in, but I think they've put it in too late. They should have put it in about February, March. Mm -hmm. And I think the weed got so much, they then added the dye. Mm -hmm. which has helped but he hasn't got rid of it it's still there it's a bit too late exactly so our advice is you can find a clear spot which there ain't many fish on a clear spot fish in the edges the all the islands and use natural baits um like i say maggots and worms seem to be the one on here there's no nuisance fish but there's th we've seen a few haven't we but nothing mm -hmm. i've not been hammered by them dad's had a couple of them taking it off but the worms and that left them out all night coming back still on so you know there's no crayfish or anything like that in here so uh, but that's what we're catching on mm, I thought, no, I thought it was yeah. fish out there, so. <coughs> it's a duck on it duck. Mm, yeah, dad's spot he's having a look bless him mm. so right I'm going to come onto that rig now I'm going to tie that rig up now and uh, we'll get dad to film it while I'm tying it right, right guys coming onto that rig section bit now and like I said I scaled down to a size 6 hook I mean I'd had 4 bites on a size 4 I felt like I was being done over and uh, I definitely got turned over last night so I put a 6 on I think that's why I've just lost that fish not because the 6 is not good enough it's just because of the weed here I think it's ditched it so I'm going to go back to a 4 now so I'm going to tie the rig up basically <clears throat> piece of coated braid got this one in black version all I've tied on the end there if you can see that is an o-ring from Deception Basically that is to tie your maggots on. So what we do is now, I get a piece of silicon tube, like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick this up, guys, but I'll, we'll do our best. All right, I'm gonna put the silicon tube, put the silicon tube on first. So basically, it'll be like that. Bit of green silicon tube. Thread that all the way down, because I'll come back to that in a minute. Right, we're going up to a size four. DX curve from Deception. As you can see, it's a curve shank. Now that's what I was catching on, but I felt like I was being turned over, you know. So the matchman in me ringing the changes and such. So basically, what I do is now on the silicon, you go point down first. I'll show you in a sec. Let me get it through. So the point is actually going down 
towards the O-ring. Like so. So basically, it will be like that. Obviously that ain't the finish rig. But where the silicon goes down the hook length, you put the hook on, and then you put the point of it in between the silicon and the hook length. So that's that part. What that does is it gauges where your hair comes off the back of your hook. Ducks over there diving again, bless them. Right, so we bring that up, this to there. And what we're doing is, so it looks like basically like that. So it's trapped, the silicon traps the hair at the back of the DX curve exactly where I want it to be. Do a knotless knot, which I will come back to you in a sec. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'll just go around five turns. Back through the back of the DX. To create the knotless knot. Very simple rig. Basically what I do is now get me my shrink tube. over the top of the hook like so so again that'll be like I've got to put the kettle on now shrink tube that up sorry shrink tube that up so it creates the curve so basically the curve will continue around the top of the hook I'm going to do the hook a little bit longer this one going about there And all you do, just a figure of eight loop to go on to your snap link. Get that wet, grab your tool, one of those in there. And what I'll do is just put my hook on a pair of scissors, hold that, and just give it a, a tighten up, chaps. Right, so, right, that there is the basics of the rig. What I'm going to do is now guys, I'm going to go in and put the kettle on, I'm going to shrink tube that up, and then I'm going to show you the finished article. There we go. Alright guys, just been inside the cabin, it's good when you've got a cabin, you need to switch the kettle on, you've got to mess about with your stove. That there is the finished article, so we've stepped it up to DX, size 4, deception, Curve shank, shrink tube, bit of silicon, and an O-ring. Basically what we're gonna do is we do old school with the maggots. What I mean is by that, bit of needle, bit of nylon, and knot them on. And I will come back to you once I have done that part. But while we're there, stay there. That's that rig. What I have done is a stiff, stiff link. That fluorocarbon, size four, got no shrink tube, unless you don't need it when you've got a stiff link. But that there, is the finished article. That is what I'm using, but I'm going to be putting this rod out in a minute. And then I've got a little bit of putty in there. Normally I don't normally do that, but these are very clued up fish. Everything needs to be pinned right down, even for a 10 pounder. It's a joke, isn't it, chaps? But that's my rig there. So basically, you should be able to see that. The camera focuses in. Fluorocarbon, bit of putty in the middle, size four, O-ring, and a big pile of maggots. And all I'll do is just slot a little bag over the top of that. So that is it for the rigs at Case the Lakes Chats. Right guys, would you believe it? I look a bit wet. I was in the hot tub with the family. The rig changes were just absolutely ripped off. <laughs> it's run down the jetty. And it's an absolute whacker. Remember we're on a specimen lake from Case the Lakes. Are you ready? Ta -da! 12 pounds. <laughs> Paid 1400 pounds for that. Yeah, lovely. So yeah, great, isn't it? But, there is a saving grace. Look how black they are. Now, these are proper, proper jet black carp. So, uh, that is the saving grace from it. A little bit of blood hanging out of him. We're getting back quickly, but yeah. £12.04 on the specimen load. So, uh, but yeah, as you can see, they are proper jet black on the maggots, that one. And it was that rig that we just tied, so let's get him back.
dolphins into another one here. They seem to be on each side of the, the swim. He's got the margins over there that you can see. He's using a washing line method. Let's see if it's any bigger. The last one was 12 pound. We're going crazy with this fish. It's getting bigger. says it's another small one. We're catching him. Well, he is. I've only had two bites. Got no, lost two. Got one in. That's it. We're live. We're cooking. Well, that rig change has worked, and it's just produced another, another one. And uh, I mean they're immaculate in here, the fish, I will give them that. But like I said on the last one, it's so heavy I might not be able to lift it. Remember we're on specimen lake chaps ready. Right Ta da! 11 pound. Pay 1400 quid for that. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? Immaculate carp. This is going to take a picture. I say immaculate fish, they're absolutely stunning. I mean they're jet black, but yeah, not what exactly. What we paid for, is it, Dad? Don't really know. So, uh, you know, I'll push him out, make him look bigger. About that. <laughs> but now, on a serious note, 11 pounder, the rig change has worked, it's keeping us entertained, but yeah, not exactly what we came for, but at least we're catching. Let's get him back. Just redone that, haven't we? Yeah, it's redone. There you go, Dad's just hit a 20 pounder. It's got to be a new Lincolnshire record. Is it? It? Where are we? Lincoln, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Lincolnshire record, that, isn't it? Case the lakes, 20 pound. There you go, Dad's had the biggest one so far. Yeah, not many big ones in here, but it's a good one. Dad with his lovely 20 pounder. And there we go, 20 pound on the money, biggest fish so far. And uh, yeah, he plays that one. Bad time, yeah. Yeah, uh, just redone the rods. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I say, biggest one so far. So there is a 20 in here. <laughs> but no, I've seen a couple of these floating around, so eventually we've got through to one, but I don't think they're going to be getting much bigger than this, but yeah. But yeah, well it's done for Dad, it's getting back. Alright guys, here we go. I'm just going to bed. I don't know what that's coming out like. But yeah. Let's see what's doing with pictures. Do it a long way, John. But yeah, 14 pounds. So, uh, little dinky mirror. 
but my biggest one of the trip so far, number eight for me. We'll come more into depth for that tomorrow. We'll come uh, back to you guys. We have had eight now, and this one's the biggest one at 14 pounds, so uh, we're in a great. But Dad did have a nice 20, so maybe things are looking up. Let's get this one back, and I'm going to continue watching the film. Ta da! He looks a bit alive. Really? Oh, yeah. Another small one. <laughs> Look at it. 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 Look at Yes, I've caught myself a birthday car, but it happened early hours in the morning, so technically it's a birthday car. So, uh, 18 pound, massive limit, eh? So, uh, let's lift her up. My biggest one of the trip. There you go. 18 pound, with 18 to be precise. Yeah, jet black, lovely car. Just not specimen lake carp as they say but yeah birthday carp be thought of to myself <laughs> here with all the family and uh yeah let's get some pictures let's get him back to the beer i think right the noise you could hear in the background is a fountain going it's about 30 degrees of heat and ben's got one on is it going to be a good one? We've been waiting patiently all day for a bite and one's finally come along. You caught me long. I think I have, yeah. That's all right. Take that. That's all right. He's not on it now, it's not moving, is it? I think he is, I think he is on it. Oh, he's a bigger. Oh, he is a bigger. He's a lot bigger. He's a lot it's about time we got through to some better ones. Dad stayed there. Hopefully it's a bigger one. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it. It looks good size. Well, good for it here anyway. Yeah, for it. <laughs> Teddy, good night. Yeah, there he is, much better fish. Oh, it's a much better one. Here's a big one, yeah. Might get ready, both of them. Ready, babe? Mm -hmm. Alright, go on then. Wait, push the net down, down. Right, lift, lift. As they say, big one on your birthday. Well, here's a big one for Case the Lakes anyway. It's my biggest one at 25 pounds. I'm surprised, surprised there's fish like this in here, if I'm honest, but yeah. Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Uh, 25 pounds. Here's a big one for you. Get 
give some more, Mark. Can you fill us some sauce, Mark, with some more? Yeah, all the maggots are good in that one. 30 degrees heat out of the blue. Right lads, I'm going to take you to a situation now, my birthday, because this is my birthday and I'm 40 years old, I've had a beer, it's only two rods, that's all you can use, yeah right, that's that one sorted isn't it lads, you know the score, have a word look, just have a word lads look, just come back from a banging meal, they're only doing me maggot rigs for me aren't they, look, Right, well, I'm doing my own. Look, father-in-law, daughter-in-law, look. Who would have thought, eh? You two, you know what I mean? Would have thought they'd have met on different terms. You get them maggots on them needles. There you go, look, she's a keeper, isn't she, lads? Look. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, I bet she fondles with your maggot, Ben. Oh, I'm a, lo I'm a lobworm, isn't I, babe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, cheers, babe. Yeah, you just keep laughing. Look at that, lads, look. She's putting the maggots on the needle Tell for me. Tell them about the ones you've caught on the rigs that I made you. Look at that, she's putting the maggots on the needle. She is a keeper, lads, and she, look. Look, she's friending one on the needle. Come here up, love you. I've got three rods to do. Look at that, look. Keeper, the old man, look, he's doing it as well. Come here up, please. I need to lower the rigs in. Yep, on the way. Alright, hurry up, Perry. You better not have any more of that cider. Yeah. It's got it in your head. More cider, one more Baileys. One was enough, you shouldn't have had two. Yeah, exactly. I had three, three ciders and four Baileys. I'm alright. Look at that, what a keeper, eh? Love it. Yeah, just getting on to what Faye said. <clears throat> Basically, I've been doing all the maggot rigs myself. And this morning she said, Do you want me to put the maggots on the nylon? I said, Yeah, alright. Since she's done it, I've had three of the bigger ones. Well, when I say three bigger ones, 25, 18, and a 14. I know it ain't great, lads, but something in it, in it, eh? And people are using hormones. Just need phase hormones, that's all it is. There you go. We don't need the vet stuff, as they say. Oh, look at them. You right there, chaps, yeah? No. Right, we'll leave it there, because I'm going to start lowering in. Oh yeah. And what are you doing? Oi. Yeah, you. What have you done? Did you go swimming after them ducks? I told you before, you guard the spots in the margin. Um, oi. Yeah, where are you going? Teddy, come here. Right, exactly. Go on, go and guard them spots. Find them spots. Go find them. Find them ducks. That's it. You guard them spots. And when ducks come along, you chase them. Good old carp dog, Ted. You on the Ted, my son. Right, guys, we've come to the end of the session here at Case the Lakes. And, um, yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, really. It's. What's your thoughts? Fishing. The uh, place itself is a lovely place, the cabin, it's luxurious, everything you could wish for. But the fishing, they're talking about this being a specimen lake. Well, nowhere near a specimen lake. The average fish we caught was about 11 pounds. Yeah. Uh, ben did have a 25 and I had a 20. But when you look at averages, it's not good. It's alright for people who just want to come on a fishing holiday and hopefully get uh, some fish. They need to do some fishery management. The weed is horrendous. A lot of these anglers who come here just cannot fish in weed. They don't know how to. So, you know, if they want it to be like a nice place for anglers to come, they need to do some fishery management before they start advertising that they've got a 52 or 40 and fellows. We've not seen any of them. And they've been on top most of the week. Well, yeah, now to be fair, I second that with Dad. I mean, the cabin. 
one of the best cabins I've ever been in. As you know, we do a lot of this. You know, like me and Faye would either go on our own or mum and dad go on their own. Sometimes we link together. And on this one, we did link together, and the cabin is unreal. It's absolutely stunning. The hot tub's great. You know, you can sit outside, have your dinner. It, it, it's all here. But behind the camera is what I'm here for. Um, what swims in that lake. And when you check their website, which you can check, it says carp to 52 pound. There ain't a 52 in it. It's dead. Yeah. So why is it still on the website? You know, and, and, and this they had a fish kill as well, which was a little while ago. Um, they even got a board outside saying Arthur's Paul, 40 pound carp in it. Well, I, I spoke to the woman, and they said the biggest carp that's ever come out of this since these owners have had it is 38 pound, which I do question, but I've, you've got to take it, I suppose, kind of gospel. Um, it's been 30 degrees up heat pretty much all week, in the middle of August. Everything's on top. Because you're high up in a cabin, it's a bit like looking down from a tree. I can see my quarry, I can see what I'm fishing for, and out of period of the week, I'll probably see about six, maybe seven fish over 20, and I definitely did see 130, it was 30, too. The rest of them, between 10 and 13 pound. And we see them, and that's what we was catching. So as for a specimen lake, no chance. You know, and it, it really annoys me, because you pay, you know, it's cost 1,400 quid, thinking you're fishing for fish of 40 and 50 pound. And you're not, but they don't state that on their website. So, a shame on you, Case the Lakes. You know, the rest of it fantastic, the restaurant's nice, the cabin's great, but the fishing which we've come for and what others come for on this so called specimen lake, they're not in it. So, I think they need to look at their website, they need to change a lot of things on that because, like I say, you're paying a lot of money to come here, and there's a lot of people blanking. You know I mean, like the calibre of angler you get on here are holiday makers, I will say that. But these, these fish are not easy to catch, they're clued up even the 10 pounders. But, the, um, but yeah, it's nowhere near a specimen lake. So look, if you are thinking of booking or if you are coming, you might want to sit down and think about this. I mean, if you don't mind catching 10 and 12 pounders, it's okay, isn't it? With yeah. the odd chance of a 20, that's what it's going to be. If you catch 20 pounder, that is your folly, if that makes sense. So. But yeah, the four hour journey back for me and Dad and Mum and Faye and Ted. Like I say, I have enjoyed it. It's been nice, you know, obviously I'm 40 years old now. Officially an old kid now. And, uh, but I think, on that. Yeah, I think this place, <clears throat> we're in 2022 now, I would think around about four years time, so 2026, that's when it's going to be a specimen lake. I, I would think everything that you hook is going to be over 20 pounds. So. I'm not saying that I won't come back, but it'll be a while before we do. You know, at least four to five years. 2026, 2027, you know, uh, we may reappear as such. Because these fish will put on weight, there's no two ways about it. It's a holiday venue, people are piling in bait every every day. It's weedy, so the food's there. They're going to get big. But to charge 1,400 quid, now, I won't be paying that again. So, uh, I think that's my little rant. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's We've so, had a good week, we've enjoyed it when we've gone out. And yeah. It's been a good holiday. It's just a shame the fishing is there with them. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, we caught, I mean, I mean, between us, we had 15 fish, saying like that. You know, I think we lost about five or six as well. So, considering there's 60 fish in here, we've had a quarter of the stock yeah. between us. Um, and that's the, the frightening thing about it 60 fish in here, we've had over 20 runs. You know, we've landed 15. So we've caught a quarter of his stock, and two of them were over 20. You do the stats, lads. Yeah. But on that note, I'm looking at a 10 pounder now, funny enough. Yeah. <laughs> but on that note, it's time to go home, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the show. And uh, there'll be many more of these holiday carping places coming up in future shows. But if you could subscribe, make a comment below, especially if people are going to K-Star, we can help you with what you're up against. Or if people are thinking of booking, Leave a comment below and uh, make sure you like the video. So that's Tadar from me and Tadar from me.